This past Saturday, thousands gathered at Boston City Hall Plaza to protest Donald Trump's immigration policies and the recently upheld travel ban. It was one of the dozens of rallies around the country aimed at showing solidarity with immigrants and shining a light on how they contribute to society, something my next guests have also been doing quite literally. You may have seen the project. It features portraits of local immigrants and refugees projected on the famous Boston landmarks. The series is called Boston Stands with Immigrants. I'm joined now by the man behind it. That'd be photographer Eric Jacobs. Great to see you, Eric. Thanks. Along with one of the women featured, singer, songwriter, and composer, Nana Reyes, who also happens to be the first woman ever to attend Berkeley College of Music from Syria. Great to see you. Hi. Thanks for coming. Where did this idea come from? Oh, it came a little over a year ago, around the time of the first travel bans. Back when. So it was Trump related? I try not to use the name too much, but yes. But it, it was. was. Okay. It was motivated by the news, and back when that kind of news was still surprising and shocking, mm -hmm. I felt pretty upset about how the, the image that it was projecting out into the world. How did you select the people? I mean, on some, you know, the Yo-Yo Ma's, the David Ortiz's make right? sense. How yeah. did you select everybody else? We have a lot of partners uh, and who are uh, involved with the immigrant community. Uh, Suitcase Stories is how we found, found Nano. Um, but Mira, the IIC, a few different partners who recommend people to us. Anybody say no? To the being on the project? Yeah. A couple. Okay, why? Having, having, your, why? having your face projected... Ten stories high across town is not probably a normal thing for people. Do you have any hesitation when you were no. approached? <laughs> I loved it. That's why about there. doing this? How long have you been here? Two years and four months. I read an incredible story about you. When you were living in homes, which uh -huh. most of us know only through the fighting, you would travel every week to Damascus through the fighting? Yes. To yeah. get your singing lessons? Yes. Were you scared? Were you worried about what would happen to you? Actually, I wasn't scared at all. I don't know. I was so motivated. I just want this one uh, class, and I go back home very happy. You know, uh, I you know? cannot tell a lie. I hadn't heard you sing until last night, and I watched lots of video of you, and I'm just going to play one thing quickly. Okay, great. Because I love it. <laughs> I believe this was a tribute to the fact that women in Saudi Arabia were yes. finally allowed to drive yes, as of absolutely. about a week ago and as a result she summoned the Beatles and <laughs> here is no no here it is <laughs> Sound familiar? Drive my car. I love that version of that song, uh, Nano. So you pick these people, yeah. some very high profile, some right. not so high profile. Right. How do you decide where to place them? Because to me, and I know you're going to mm -hmm. say, duh, mm -hmm. where they are is almost as important as the image themselves. Yeah, How do you decide where to place yeah, them? Very much so. It was important to me to like have a projection location that was relevant to the subject story. Linda Dracina Fori, we put her on a Suffolk construction building. Uh, She's now vice president of yes, some of the former state yes, senator. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so some place, some place that added context to the individual story was really important. Where'd me. you put her? We put her on uh, City Hall, but uh, more importantly and relevant to her story, we photographed her projection on City Hall through the memorial, the Holocaust Memorial mm. downtown. How did you feel when you saw yourself, literally and figure larger than life, huge? How did that feel? Oh, it felt amazing. Like, I saw, I, I saw it live on the tree. Mm -hmm. And that was like, oh, my God, I'm so big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I'm sitting here, I was, the obvious I hadn't even thought about, had, had, when the Supreme Court ruled a week ago that the president's travel ban, the latest version, is legal, if that had happened before you came here, you wouldn't be at Berkeley, correct? Yes, I think I'm really lucky. How does that feel, knowing that there are people like you who probably have talent and skills and want to be here, who, because of timing and place of birth and life, just can't join you? I mean, I don't know. It's Everything is sad, like having this war and trying to find a home and try to start a life uh, all over again is really, really hard. And I am, I, 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 I am very happy and like, like grateful that I made it here, mm -hmm. and I am. A lot yeah, of people seem to be great. Living and, happy and that you're here. Mm -hmm. what do you hope people take away? From, I mean, this thing is overwhelming, and right. I mean that in the best sense of the word. Right. What do you hope that people take away from this? I mean, I think fundamentally, I hope that people can see immigrants uh, in a less charged way, uh, to see them as human beings first and foremost. And I think fundamentally, 
I have a very strong opinion about these things. I think you can see that through the project. Mm -hmm. But I really want people to be able to talk about this in a way that's not so outrageously polarized. And I think like pictures and the project has that capacity. What do you hope people take away when they see you? And people have mentioned David Leonard, the head of the Boston Public Library from Ireland. What do you hope people take away from this now? Um, I want them to change the system stereotypes uh, of, of the immigrants that we are looked down upon or something, that we are successful and most of the successful um, people here, uh, they all um, like migrated. So. And I think that is what you take away. Before you yeah. go, the only disappointing part of this is it goes away. I mean, <laughs> what are you doing to make sure it doesn't go away? A word. Well, we're trying to find partners and grow the project, right? It's a national conversation, mm -hmm. uh, and it's relevant in every city across this country. So we're trying to, trying to do just that, trying I to find a home all around the country. It's beautiful and powerful. It's great. Congratulations, Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Jim. No, it's great to see you. Me Congratulations you so on your much. career. I hope Thank things you. go wonderfully well. And you can find more of Eric's work online at standswithimmigrants.org.